Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to today's video. So I'm gonna show you my current makeup routine. So when I say quick, I would say quick for me. So doing my whole face probably takes about 10 minutes, 15 minutes max. And for me, that is quick. Um, I have spent way longer than that on my makeup in the past, but recently I've just kind of cut it down and Gone back to basics, I guess. So I'm gonna show you my current makeup routine and also what I'm using on my hair at the moment. Um, a little bit about the hair journey I'm on because I'm really trying to prioritize my hair health. So let's just get straight into it. I am exhausted. <laughs> um, I've been up since 4.30 a.m. this morning, thanks to my daughter. So I'm exhausted, but I feel like that probably resonates with Everyone that's watching this probably because if you have kids you kind of always feel like you're exhausted Well, I definitely do anyway, but yeah, I'm gonna start from the very beginning. So, okay, where do I start? Firstly, let's start with my hair. So I recently ordered I recently ordered the Philip Kingsley density range so I saw a couple of people using this and posting this. So I thought it actually seems perfect for me. So I ordered the starter kit and this is the preserving scalp drop. So I can't remember what I've said on YouTube and what I haven't said on YouTube, but I am on like a, like a hair health journey, I guess. And um, I really wanna get my hair in the best condition it's been for a long time. So, that is why I got the Philip Kingsley density range. And in the starter kit, you get this, which is um, preserving scalp drops. You then also get the dentistry healthy hair complex blend of vitamins and minerals. And in this you have biotin and selenium. So I'll leave a link below for more information on this range. And then there is the Philip Kingsley Dent Den density keep wanting to say dentistry, density thickening protein spray. So I have been using this probably not long enough to see a result at the moment. So I've been using it about 10 days and so far so good. I've also been using the most amazing shampoo and conditioner, which I will show you. So I actually received a PR package from L'Oreal Professional and it was the Absolute Repair Molecular probably butchered that, peptides bonder and five amino acids, shampoo, conditioner, well, it's like called a rinse, and then a leave-in serum. And this is to repair and restore strength, elasticity, elasticity and movement. So you get the shampoo and then you get the rinse. So this is the rinse here, this is the shampoo. And then this is the leave-in mask. So I've been using this for about a week and my hair has never felt better. It is pricey, I will say that. But for me, I mean, there's going to be loads of people that won't need to use anything like this. Um, my hair is so badly bleach damaged that I need a miracle, to be honest. And that's why I'm using that. Going forward, I'm hoping um, when, you know, my hair recovers and it's not got half as much bleach in, it won't need something like that. But at the minute, it really does. My hair on the ends is so dry. I'm making progress, but I still have such a long way to go. So that's why I'm going to be investing in things like that. Also, I've had extensions in the past and things like that. And of, and of course they're costly. And now I'm at a stage where I'd just rather invest in things that are actually just gonna help my real hair, not use like fake hair. That's not to say I would never get extensions again, not at any point in the near future would I ever get extensions. I'd probably maybe use clip-ins um, and hair pieces or something like that, but I have no plans to get extensions again in the near future. I'm really focusing on my actual hair health and that includes really limiting the bleaching. And when I go to the hair salon next, I'll probably talk through that in way more detail because obviously I have to have a hairstyle in mind that doesn't include bleach or limits bleach. So I think I'd always have some bleach. But I'm definitely limiting it 
For my hair health, I'll always be a blonde at heart, I really will, but I really feel like it's time to look after my hair health. And I feel like I'm rambling now, so I'm gonna stop and um, come back to my hair in a bit. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna use on my face is the NYX Plump Right Back Primer. Now, now I have been using this over on my Instagram as part of a brand collaboration with NYX. This is not part of the brand collaboration, but I am obsessed with this. Genuinely obsessed, honestly. It's such a nice primer. You can also use it on its own as well. See as I'm putting it on, but it gives such a healthy glow. And when I say glow, I don't mean like a like a glittery glow. It gives like um like an inner glow, I guess. I'm just obsessed with it to be honest. Ever since I've started using it, it's been an absolute go-to in my makeup bag. I actually got inspired. Um, I went to an event last week, there was someone there and she just had the most gorgeous, glowy, healthy looking, fresh skin. And it really inspired me to start kind of doing more of that. So this, I'm obsessed with it. It gives just the freshest, glowy, healthy look. So obsessed with that. And then I'm gonna move on to my eyebrows. And if you have watched any of my makeup videos, or any of my get ready, with me, videos or segment in my vlogs, I have used this eyebrow pencil for so long and it is so good. I feel like everything I'm using today, I'm gonna to say the same because I've kind of just honed in on products that I love so much. And this is amazing. So it's great value for money, which is always something that I wanna find. So it's Kiko Milano and it's Eyebrow Sculpt Automatic Pencil. And I am using shade number five. So I'm just gonna brush my brows. That could do with a tint, to be honest, but I'm gonna fill in my brows using this pencil. And lucky for me, there is a Kiko Milano near me, so I can just run in when I'm running low. But honestly, this is such a good eyebrow product. I just fill in most of them. And then at the very end, when I've done my foundation, and everything like that, I'll just fill in the fronts, because I find if I do the fronts before I do my foundation, when I put my foundation on, it kind of smudges them a bit. So I'll just do the main bit now, and then at the end, fill in the fronts. Then for my foundation, I'm gonna go in with my Beauty Pie Everyday Great Skin Foundation, and this is in shade 350 Cashew, and I'm gonna be applying it with my Bare Minerals brush. I did actually pick up this brush from NYX in Boots, which is exactly the same, well, very similar, that kind of like foundation brush. So this is from Boots, this is from Bare Minerals. And with my Beauty Pie foundation, I literally just use one pump across my whole face. I do not like the look or the feel of foundation. That is too caked on. I'm really going for the fresh kind of glowy look. So I'm just literally gonna put one pump and spread that all over my face and then blend it in with this brush. So I've just put on a thin layer of foundation on my skin and up until recently I was using a Kiko Milano concealer but it's run out and I haven't been back to get any more yet. So I'm gonna use the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Brightening Concealer and you really do need a tiny bit of this. And this is a Beauty Pie brush so I'm just gonna put a tiny bit under my eye. I've made the mistake in the past of using far too much concealer and it just creases and it's not the look I'm after to be honest. So even though I feel absolutely exhausted, I am really gonna minimize how much concealer I use. But actually you really don't need very much of this at all. It's one of those products that lasts forever as well. And as you can see, it really does brighten the under eye. So I'm gonna put it under my eyes and then just a couple of other areas that I need it. And before that concealer has a chance to crease on my under eye, I'm gonna set it with the Kiko Milano, what is this actually called? Universal Veil Finishing Powder. I remember when you could not get one of these powders on the high street and you had to get it. Um, where did I used to get it from? I think I used to get it from NARS. And although I obviously still love the NARS one, this one is so good and it's really reasonably priced. So thank you Kiko Milano for that. I actually feel like Kiko Milano is such an underrated 
makeup brand. They have so many really high quality products that are great value. I always love going in there. And then gonna get my Hoola Glow, which has been well and truly loved. However, still plenty of life left in it. And just use it as a bronzer and a bit of contouring. Do you remember when contouring was like it? Like you had to cream contour, then you had to set with powder. Oh, to have the time for all of that because I just don't, I just don't have that time anymore. So I'm gonna put a little bit on my neck as well, just to kind of blend all of that in. Then I'm gonna put some on my temples and then just a little bit down the sides of my nose. And that is a super quick bronze and contour. So if I'm in a real rush, I will skip this step. But if I have a little bit of extra time, I will do this. This is the NARS, broke, um, NARS blusher in shade savage now this is so pigmented it really is you you have to be really careful with how much you put on so i literally just dab the brush in and then blend it into my cheeks but honestly it's so pigmented if you put too much on then it will just go everywhere so less is definitely more with this but i guess that's great because it means it lasts really long i'm just going to use a hula glow as my eyeshadow as well for me, it's a perfect shade of bronze just for a quick eyeshadow look. I always have to put something on my eyes. You know when there's just that one thing that if you don't do, you don't quite feel right? And if I don't have eyeshadow on, I just don't feel right. So a little bit of Hoola Bronze on my eyelids, on the top, and then I'll just do a little bit on my lower lash line as well just to add a little bit of definition i don't use that much mascara at the moment so this just gives that little bit of definition so now most of my base is done i'm just going to go back in with the kiko brow pencil and just use the and just use the fine end just to add some hair strokes to the front of my brows and as my brows need a tint i'm just going to use a charlotte tilbury brow mascara the kind of reflection that you get of light hairs for my lips i'm going to use this beauty pie lip liner long wear lip liner and i'm just going to line my lips i never skip the lip liner stage for me it's such an important step so that's my lip liner done and this is shade I can never find the shades on lip liners. Here we go. Rummy pink. I think it says rummy pink. Everything will be linked below. So then my lipstick I'm going to use, which is nearly all run out, just the moisturising lip balm from the body shop. And then for my lipstick, this is a bit gutting, to be honest, because I'm going to use a lipstick. That has been discontinued, and I am gutted about it because it is the perfect consistency, the perfect shade for me and it's been discontinued so i am gutted and i'm holding on to it like gold dust but it is the body shop lipstick and they have a new range out which i will show you in a second but i'm just going to put this one on so this is my current body shop lipstick and this is the new body shop lipstick so as you can see shade wise they are very similar actually. So the shade is perfect, but I just prefer the consistency of this one. So yeah, shade wise, this one is great, but the consistency of this one, I just prefer. So there we go. So that's a new Body Shop lipstick, which I will link below. So shade is exactly the same. Also this one is a little more smoother in consistency. And then mascara wise, this is a Beauty Pie waterproof mascara. I, as I said earlier, I have really limited the amount of mascara I put on. And that is mainly because I was finding it would just end up all over my eyelids, um, under my eyes, and I just found it really annoying. So I thought, Do you know what? I'm just not gonna slap it on like I have been for um, forever. So I'm literally just putting a tiny bit on just to add a little bit of definition 
and colour to my eyelashes and then just kind of leaving it at that really. Okay, so that is it for my makeup. And as you can see, the glow of the primer is just kind of coming through. I haven't got any highlighter on or anything like that, but my skin just looks kind of fresh and glowy. And that is thanks to this and the Beauty Pie Foundation. So I'm gonna move on to my hair. And as you can see, my hair naturally is wavy. It has taken me 33 years to figure out how to try and kind of work with my wavy hair. So you can see there it's just dried with a wave and some of it is kind of more wavy than others. Some of it is more defined, some of it's really frizzy. So even though it's wavy, I can't just leave it to wave because it just doesn't kind of give the desired effect. I find the bits on top need a little bit more encouragement, but then underneath it's like super wavy. So I was leaving it to wave um, in the summer, but I had to finger roll it. And if you've never heard of that, I'm not surprised because I'd only heard of it recently. And that's when you finger roll your wavy hair and kind of like keep it in that position, then it dries. Um, but that's time consuming. That is really time consuming. So today I'm just gonna blow dry it and then add a wave myself with um, my straighteners. I've already added the leave-in mask, which is also a heat protector. And then I've also put some of the L'Oreal Alvive Bond Repair Leave-In Serum in as well, just to give it a lot of help. And then we're gonna dry it using my Tangle Teaser Brush. I have had this for ages. Um, I think I did a YouTube video about it or something on Instagram so long ago now, and I just love this brush. I'm just gonna blast my hair dry with the Shark Speed Style Hair Dry. So I'm working with Shark over on Instagram. Now this hair dry will provide no heat damage, which as you guys know, I am on a hair mission at the moment. So this really is perfect for my hair. So it doesn't go above temperatures. That will damage your hair. So there's also loads of different attachments, but I'm just gonna blow dry it today with this and then add a wave. So it also has three heat settings and then three power settings on the back as well. So to add a wave to my hair, I'm using the GHD Platinum Plus hair straighteners and they don't use extreme heat. Don't quote me on the actual technology, but um, I've obviously used heat protector as well. Just to give that extra bit of protection, and I don't um, use the straighteners more than once a week, just to really limit the heat that I'm using on my hair. I'm just gonna grab the straightener, twist it round, and then pull down. And it gives a really nice wave. So that is my current hair and makeup routine finished. I think you can kind of see more when my hair is actually done, kind of more the journey we're kind of going on with my hair and it is a work in progress, as I said. And then just a fresh, quick, quick for me, um, easy makeup look. Thank you so much for watching my video today, guys. Really hope you're all well and I'll see you next week.